Hey everyone, welcome back to my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. In this video, I wanna show you how to use Logic's noise gate plugin as a ducker. Now we've already talked about ducking with a compressor and ducking with a gate is a very similar setup, but you'll typically get more drastic results by ducking with a gate rather than a compressor. Now that said, it's not always the best option though. For this project, we're going to use the noise gate to duck the signal of some synth strings and synth bass using a kick drum sample as an external sidechain source. But first, here's what the demo project sounds like without the ducking. <laughs> So the bass part is really just long notes, but on the synth strings, I have a rhythmic effect being applied using the tremolo plugin and automating the depth of the tremolo effect. So if I open up my automation, you'll see here that the depth of the tremolo ramps up on each chord. To get started, let's add the noise gate to the bass track. And just for now, I'll mute the synth strings. Just like the compressor, the noise gate has an external side chain input. And for this example, we're going to be using the gate as a ducker. So I'll make sure that it's in ducker mode, not gate mode. If I had an isolated kick track, or if this was a drum machine designer kit, I could go ahead and use the kick as our sidechain source. But because this is a drum loop, we'll need to isolate a kick sample from it to use it as our sidechain source. So here's an isolated kick that I can cut out. I'll duplicate this drum track. I'll set my snap mode to division and I'll select the marquee tool. I'll just select that kick and then click and drag it down to my new track. I'll start by putting these kicks on the downbeats of each bar. And for now I'll mute the drum loop so I can just hear the side chain kick with the bass. I'll rename this track to Kick SC so I can easily find it in the sidechain menu. And then I'll open up my noise gate and in the sidechain menu, I'll find that Kick SC track. Now, before I show you what the ducker does, real quick, let me just put this on gate mode. Instead of the kick ducking the bass, the kick is triggering the bass in gate mode. So this can be really useful for gated rhythmic effects, which we will cover in a future video. But for now, let's put this back on ducker mode. Let's roll the ducking down to negative 100 dB. And then dial in the threshold and envelope controls to find a setting that works. The hold parameter is particularly important here because it can be used to make sure that the gate is opening at the right time. And here I want it to sync up with the music. Basically, I want the kick to hit and then an eighth note later, I want the gate to open. It also helps to turn on the metronome so you can audibly hear where the beat is. So around the 400 milliseconds range is working out to be pretty close to a quarter note. So let's roll this back to half of that value to get an eighth note. Yeah, so 180 milliseconds is working out pretty good, but it's still a really hard on and off effect. So let's smooth that out by rolling up the release time a bit. Now that I've got the ducker worked out, let's play around with the rhythm of the sidechain kick to create some cool ducking rhythms. I'm just holding down option and clicking and dragging these kick samples to duplicate them around to some different areas while snapping to the division grid.
Let's add one more kick over here as well. And once you've found a good rhythm you like, you can select all of these kicks and press J to join them as a single region. But keep in mind, if you don't wanna work with audio, you can do this with MIDI notes on a kick instrument track as well. Let's mute the side chain kick so we don't hear it audibly, but we will still hear the effect it has on the noise gate. And then we'll bring back in the drum loop. Next, let's copy that same noise gate over to the synth strings. I'll put this in between the tremolo and reverb, but you can play around with putting your noise gate ducker anywhere in your signal chain and you'll get different results. And if you want a more gentle ducking effect where the signal isn't completely muted when the kicks hit, you can always roll up the ducking knob a bit if you like. So that's how you can use the noise gate as a ducker with an external side chain input. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.